Hello, now I'll be going over the Alexa Pi project. This is basically creating an Amazon Echo out of a Raspberry Pi. How we do this is we have Python script that's constantly looking for internet connection. When that's determined, we'll be able to record our voice, send that to request the Alexa voice service, and then have that play the response through a speaker. You can have the hardware working in a couple different ways. I have a physical button, you can either do it on a breadboard, but I have it set up currently through a Wii remote that connects through Bluetooth. So here's my Bluetooth dongle. So let's go ahead and plug in the Pi. We'll power it up and you'll hear Alexa say hello when she's ready to talk. Connects to the internet. Your speaker come on. Hello. There she goes. All right, so now the script is constantly looking for a connection through Bluetooth of the Wii Remote. So we'll hold down the one and two buttons at once. And we'll see that the player one LED lights up, meaning that we're ready to go. All right, so we have a connection. Now I can press and hold down the A button, speak, and let go. Then I'll be able to send that recording to the Alexa voice service. You'll have different LEDs light up down here in the players three and four to indicate whether we are recording our voice, done recording and sending it to Alexa and she's processing, and then the third is when she's done processing and she's speaking back to you. Tell me a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Kanye. Kanye who? Kanye believe it? I tell jokes, too. So that's basically what'll happen. The player four LED will turn on when we are recording our voice. When I let go, the player three will also turn on, saying that we're sending it to Alexa. And then the player four will turn off, and only player three will be on, saying that she is currently speaking her response through the speaker. And then they'll turn off again and only player one will be visible, which lets you know that you can ask another question. Um, I also have it set up to where I can press right to turn on Philips Hughes lights in the room and left on the Wii remote to turn them off. So you can do a whole lot of different things in the actual main Python script to incorporate different button presses. Um, I have that currently running through a node script that's in the same directory as the Python. And that's basically it. So it's really cool. You can ask her all the same questions that a normal Amazon Echo can. Um, it was really cheap because I already had these parts laying around, the speaker and the microphone. Uh, you can get it working on a Raspberry Pi 3. This one's a 2, so you wouldn't even really need a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi dongle as that comes built in on the newer Pi. So all you would really need is a hardware button for the GPIOs or a Wii remote if you have one laying around the house. This is the original Wii remote from 2006 when it was originally released. Um, and a microphone and a speaker. That's basically it. Thanks for watching.